are now listening to the Teach Drama Podcast. Hi, this is Rada Paler, a third-year Bachelor of Culture and Arts Education student, and I love watching different genres of dramas and plays, as well as sharing with you all what I've observed in every film. Hello everyone! For today, what I'm going to share with you is my analysis of a play entitled Death of a Salesman. I watched this play way back in my senior high school years. I guess it was around in my 11th grade when my creative writing teacher recommended us to watch this. But before I start, let me have first a short background about this play. Death of a Salesman is a 1949 stage play written by an American playwright, Arthur Miller. This was first premiered on Broadway on the 10th of February in 1949, held at Morosco Theatre, New York City. It covers a 24-hour period with the requiem set, and it represents a social drama and tragedy genre, whose subject of this story is the waning days of a failing salesman and his disillusionment that ended his life through suicide. So this play has several versions of the film, but despite of its adaptations, the main thought and storyline of the play is still there. So the plot I'm going to share now is the shortest summary I've made. The story started to set in New York in 1949, which the characters appeared. Willie Lowman, the protagonist, an insecure, self-deluded traveling salesman, his loving and loyal wife Linda, who is a housewife, and their two sons, Biff, a 34-year-old son, and Happy, who was 32 at that time. Both are grown-up men, yet unsettled in their career path. The audience was introduced to different flashbacks about Willie's life, about his dream, disillusionment, infidelity, and disappointments. His sons who were at home at the time urged their father Willie to speak to his boss to transfer him to the New York City's office, but instead he got fired. In an attempt to help their father recover after the fall of his dream, Beef and Happy took their father in a dinner. But they only argue, leaving Willie left in the restaurant for the reason that Beef was always reminded of the infidelity of his father. Willie's delusions drown him and kill himself in a car crash to get the insurance policy he has in his dream work and provide it to his family. So it ended up with the family gathered around his grave. In the requiem of the play, Beef realizes that his father's life and focus are on a wrong dream, while Linda, the grieving wife, is still wondering why Willie did it. But still, she ended up saying that they are already free from death. So the plot of the film was clearly portrayed. I found this classical story, even at its first attack, very interesting and at the same time challenging. Because throughout the events happened, I always got thrilled and curious what would happen next. What I also love in this play is that the main characters revolved in the whole play excellently portray the roles. That is why it appeared that the storyline came to life. Especially Willie, the main protagonist, portrayed the role like he already experienced it in real life. Since the characters able to give life in the roles, the thought of the play entertained me in a way that it educates and gave me a lifelong lessons and awareness about family. Truly, the main theme and symbol of death of a salesman include family relationships, the shortcomings of American dream, and all of its consequences, namely the financial well-being. In terms of their dialogues and dictions, it was clear. All conversations were necessary to bring the context and understand the flow of the story. The strong emotions they convey greatly match with their lines, tone of the movie, and personality of the characters they portrayed. The music supports the mood of the play. Since it is a drama and tragedy genre, it gives off a somber or a sad atmosphere. Truly, 
it aligned to a specific scene where one can be carried away and deeply rooted in the play, especially the characters to put the right amount of emotions in it. Since it was released within the 1940s, it is understandable that in today's era, it is now already out of style. But as an audience or viewer of the film, the visual elements of a theatrical production or its spectacle matches the overall setting of the play. It is like I was in that time too. I guess I already stated on what I wanted to say about this play. So for those who are into tragic events, I highly recommend you this one. After all, at the end of the play, you will get a lesson that would be applicable in your life. So that would be all for today. Bye-bye!